Welcome to this video on cloud base a cloud hosting platform. Recently, one of my colleagues was talking about this, so I want to try it out and see what are the features they do offer for us. In this video, I'm going to talk about cloud base a web hosting platform and why do we need it? And then I'm going to talk about what is cloud base along with the features. At the end, I will move on to a demo and show you how to launch a WordPress website. When you want to host your website, there are different options available for you. One of the most popular option is shared web hosting. Shared web hosting means there is a server, a single server to host multiple websites. The resources are shared. Custom will have a limit on the total amount of the server resources they can use. This option is popular because it's cheaper, but this has limitation with customization. The website might take time to load. The server will be overloaded from other sites. So here comes CloudBase, a managed cloud hosting platform for building, deploying, scaling, and managing web application, which you can create servers, which only dedicated to your website, and not, not sharing resources with other customers or websites. And you can create unlimited websites with high speed and with high performance. Let's see what are the other features CloudBase offers for us. The best thing is you don't need to be a, a very technical person to host a website in CloudBase as it's really easy and simple to understand and use. And it offers 24-7 support whenever you need it. And another thing is it's easy to scale up when you have a heavy load and it offers auto healing as well. You will see in the demo when you are adding a server or an application, you can see the pricing. They do follow pay as you go method. You can monitor your application in real time and there are ready servers as well. And then the servers are protected and secured and you can customize your servers based on your needs. If you're working with a team, you can collaborate and work with your teams. And then there are plugins, add-ons, and cloud-based APIs, which you can use. And then you will get a free SSL certificates and free migration from your existing website. They do offer backups and caching as well. So these are some of the features. You can go through the website and check for other features as well. Let's start to host a WordPress website. Go to your web browser and search for CloudBase. You will end up on this page and click on Get Started Free. You can start with this, which is valid for three days to test out and try out. After that, you can upgrade your account. You can use any of these sign up options. I'm going to fill this form with my name and with a valid email. You can add a password to the account. Here, if you are a designer or an agency, select one that is suitable for you and select how much you spend on hosting monthly. This promo code was applied, which is a $50 free credit. If you have any promo code, you can add here. Click on start free. You will get this page when you are logged in. Verify your account before you create anything. You will get own verification page. Give a phone number which is working as you will get a verification code to your phone. Meanwhile, go to your email and activate your account. For now, we won't fill any of this. Let's go to the server and we don't see any of the servers here yet. Click on launch now. You will get to this page. This is the page which we can set up our app servers and the application. Here you have to install an application. It can be WordPress, PHP or anything. You can select any of these from the drop down. I will choose this version and then give an application name, server name. And if you are working with a team, you can give a project name as well, which is easy to organize according to the projects. Here you can select the server. The server can be DigitalOcean, Denied, Vulture, AWS, or G Cloud. 
for AWS and G Cloud, you can select how much bandwidth you want, storage and database size. Here it will show how much it will cost for you. This is different uh, based on the size and the server. I will select Digital Ocean for my server. Here you can select the server site for the server. They do recommend 2 GB, so I will select 2 GB. If you think you need more uh, capacity, you can select the size from here or change it later. Then select the server location. Based on where your website visitors are located, you can choose the nearest location. And then click on launch now. So here it will show the time it will take to add the server. When the server is added, you can see this in green. You will see the application once the server is launched. You can add an application as well. You can add team members here to your project. You will see the project in this tab and you can add a project as well. If you want to migrate from your existing website, you can have a look at this video. Now the server is ready. Here is the IP address for the server. Now you can see the application. If the three days trial is over, all your servers and application will delete. So make sure to upgrade if you want to work on it. Here you can see the options available for the server. You can delete or start the server. In this application, you can delete or clone the app or create a staging website from here. You will see the application details. You can see your WordPress site by clicking on this. Ta-da! Here is the sample WordPress site. This is the temporary link to our WordPress website. So let's go and check application management details. Here you can see the WordPress website temporary URL. You can change this to your domain name. You can test and try out things using this temporary URL. After that, you can update the domain name. Here is the link for the admin panel and the username password to login. Copy the username and the password. There is another way to access the admin panel from your website. Type login at the end of the URL. Let's have a look at what are the other things that is available for us. This section contains the database name, username and password which you can use to log into the database. Application credentials. This gives the credentials to SSH to a specific application on a server. You need to have the folder name on the server to SSH to the application. You can find it in the application settings section. In this section, you can view the traffic statistic of an application such as IP request, bot traffic, status codes, and URL request. Here you will see the top IP requests on your application with the request count. Bot protection. You can protect your website from attacks by activating the bot protection. This will block all the malicious traffic. To add a domain name, first you should have a domain name purchased from GoDaddy or Namecheap or any other domain registrar. Go to the domain management, copy paste your domain here and click on save changes. You can add an additional one as well. You need to add the IP address to the domain name. Copy the public IP address which is in the access details and go to the domain registration website and add it in the DNS. So in order to have a secure website, we need to add a SSL certificate. To get a free SSL certificate, go to the SSL certificate section and select Let's Encrypt and add an email address, domain name and install the certificate. This configuration is for the single domain. If you want to have multiple domains, click on Add Domain and then Install. This wildcard SSL certificate means securing multiple subdomains with just one certificate. Go to the website and see whether your website is secure or not from that lock icon. 
cron job management in this section you can create a cron job when you create a cron job it will show on the basic but if you want to use uh, command line switches or other advanced settings you will have to use the advanced let's move on to the other section backup and restore in this section you can take a backup of your application by clicking take backup here the restore application now button is disabled as we haven't uh, configured any backups. Let's move on to the other section. You can deploy any code to your application using Git repositories. Click on the generate SH key to generate the keys and you can upload the SH public key to your Git repository. Here you will see all the application settings. Migration tools. You can migrate your WordPress website easily by using this WordPress migration plugin. In Cloudbase CDN, you can set up and activate Cloudbase CDN. So we have already checked all the options on the application management. So now let's check on the server details and settings. Master credentials. These are the credentials to remotely access the server via SH or SFTP. Manage services. In this section, you can see the service for your application and you can control them by stopping, restarting, or disabling them. Settings and packages. These are the basic server settings that you can change. In the advanced tab, you have additional settings. In the package tab, you can deploy and upgrade packages on the server. In this security section, you can restrict SSH and SFTP access to specific IP address or whitelist IP addresses for your server or for the MySQL database. Here you can scale your server size and uh, attach block storage. By clicking this and selecting the site, this is disabled for now. Backups or off-site server level backups are already there when you launch the server. You can customize them from here. You can set up a SMTP server here. So these are the options available for server. I have gone through each of the section in application management and server management and I showed you how to set up a WordPress website. So play around and set up your website. Don't forget to comment down below your website URL hosted on Cloudbase.